So have you ever looked up at the night sky and just saw all these wonderful things? Maybe you saw some stars, maybe you saw something really big and glowing up there, but you didn't know what it was. At night, you can actually see planets. You can also see the moon. I'm sure many of us have looked up at night and have seen the moon, that's glowing beauty. There's a difference between planets and moons and what makes them a planet and a moon. A planet, just like Earth, has to be large enough to be rounded by its own gravity. And we'll talk about that later too. It also has to orbit the sun, which means that it has to take a path that goes around the sun. There are eight different planets in our solar system. The first planet is Mercury, and it is a very small planet. The next planet is Venus. The third planet is our favorite planet, Earth. And then the fourth planet is Mars. Hopefully we'll get to Mars one day. The next planet is a very large one, and also my personal favorite is Jupiter. After that, we have the planet with all of those rings around it, and that's Saturn. Afterwards, we have Uranus, and then another last planet is Neptune. Maybe you've heard of a planet called Pluto that is no longer on our list of planets. That's because it's too small to have cleared its orbit out of everything. So therefore, Pluto has been demoted, and we no longer have Pluto on our list of planets. Now, I mentioned the moon that you can also see at night. This is what we call a satellite. And that means that this moon, or any other natural satellite like it, has to orbit the planet. So our moon orbits Earth. It also travels with Earth as Earth goes around the sun. You can also see a difference in size when we have a planet versus the moon. The moon is obviously a lot smaller than the planet that it has to orbit. That's because it's kind of hanging in there because gravity is pulling that satellite or the moon toward that certain planet.